Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight on Facebook today to keep informed on any upcoming videos and vehicles that I have in the near future. And remember, always wear your seatbelt. Enjoy the feature. Today's vehicle spotlight shines on the 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan Main Street. The Grand Caravan has seen its share of changes since its 1984 model year debut. Now in its fifth generation for 2008, the Grand Caravan continues to thrive with many of the convenient features that the whole family can enjoy. After all, the Grand Caravan and its Chrysler Town & Country cousin were the top selling minivans in America last year. For 2011, the Grand Caravan receives a minor facelift as well as some minor trim changes. These halogen quad headlamps feature a new shape compared to last year's. The four vented grille has been on the Caravan since its debut and it now features black satin finish with chrome trimming around it. The front bumper features a mesh grille design over the center air dam and where the optional fog lamps would be placed. The lower front fascia of the bumper also flares out. The Grand Caravan is now 202.8 inches long, which is 12.3 inches longer than the original Grand Caravan. It also has a height of 67.9 inches. Today's model is featured in the dark charcoal pearl exterior color. Its side profile features mostly straight body panels with some add-on trim across the doors and lower flare lines that run from the flared out wheel wells. There are also straight design lines that run underneath all of the side windows. The body colored mirrors are fully powered and are also heated. The door handles are also colored matching. The lower part of the Grand Caravan features body colored cladding. The Grand Caravan Main Street comes equipped with these 16-inch painted aluminum rims and four-wheel disc brakes with analog control. The back of the 2011 Grand Caravan shows off some more minor trim changes. The Grand Caravan now sports these new LED tail lamps that feature a flare-out design. The Dodge name is now spelled out across the trim above the license plate holder. On top of the rear bumper, you will find a black step guard with chrome trimming. The rest of the rear bumper is body color and features one exhaust port. The Grand Caravan's interior has also received some new changes for 2011. Front passengers will be comforted by these black Legacy 2 cloth seats, which are even ultra soft to your fingers and feature side bolstered airbags.
The two-tone door trim features a chrome door handle above the neatly placed window lock and mirror controls. These controls are placed on a leather-stitched soft padded armrest, which is also new for 2011. And the huge door pocket even offers a cup holder. The 2011 dashboard features a new gauge cluster, redesigned center stack, and other amenities that don't make it feel like a rental car. The Grand Caravan offers a comfortable and high driving position. The new Illuminescent gauge cluster is similar to the ones found in many of the new Chrysler vehicles. It includes a 7,000 RPM TAC, 120 mile per hour speedometer, and gauges for your coolant temperature and fuel level, all of which are wrapped nicely in chrome trim. The new red halos around the tack and speedometer add a nice sporty touch to the Grand Caravan. In between the main gauges sits the standard odometer display that is capable of giving you other information. An optional full mesh and center display is offered. The Grand Caravan features a three-spoke steering wheel that houses the controls for your odometer display and your cruise control. Your audio controls are featured on the back sides of the spokes. To the left of the steering wheel are your exterior lighting controls. To the right of the steering wheel sits your nicely placed gear selector, done with chrome accents. The center stack controls have been redesigned for better convenience. Today's model features the optional AM, FM, CD, DVD, and MP3 player with a 6.5 inch touchscreen display and a 30 gigabyte hard drive for your media storage. There is also your auxiliary and USB ports for your iPod or other digital media device. This stereo is also Sirius satellite radio ready. The three zone climate controls come standard and are very easy to function. You even have access to the rear controls in case you don't want rear passengers to function them themselves. Under the climate controls, you have your economy mode control, emergency hazards, the 110 power outlet control, and your traction control override. The rest of the center stack consists of many storage pockets, including two fold out cup holders and two 12 volt power outlets at the very bottom.
The standard center console features a huge storage compartment and four cup holders that can easily be removed. In front of it is where you will find the spare tire removal crank. More storage spaces in the dashboard include the one in front of the passenger and of course the glove compartment. The leather wrapped armrests on the captain's chairs are very convenient. On the ceiling, you'll find two sun visors with mirrors and a ceiling console with the controls for your rear doors, a place for a pair of glasses that also includes a mirror to watch your little ones, and two map lamps. This model came equipped with the power convenience group that includes the dual power sliding doors and the power lift gate. The second row features two captain's chairs and plenty of legroom. The second row seats, however, no longer offers the swivel and go feature for 2011. On the ceiling, you'll find the optional 9-inch TV screen and the rear-mounted climate controls. Pull on the side handle to flip the seat forward so you can gain access to the third row. The third row still offers plenty of comfort and much legroom even for tall adults. You are even offered cup holders and many more storage pockets. Still offered is Chrysler's innovative stow and go storage system that features huge cargo spaces under the floor to hold your belongings or fold the second row seats flat into the cargo floor. On the driver's side of the second row is where you will find your input jacks for your video game systems or etc. and your power outlets. The back of the Grand Caravan features a deep cargo floor that gives you a standard 33 cubic feet of space. The deep cargo floor is also used to fold the third row seats down flat. And it couldn't get much easier to flatten the third row using these step numbered pull tabs. If all the seats are folded into the floor, you have a total 143.8 cubic feet of space. The days of carrying the seats out of your minivan are long behind us.
The Grand Caravan is powered by the brand new 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 that produces 283 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. This new smooth and quiet V6 makes an EPA estimated 17 miles per gallon in the city and about 25 on the highway. The Pentastar V6 is connected to a 6-speed automatic transmission that features the auto-stick manumatic shifting feature. That concludes today's vehicle spotlight on the 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan Main Street. I'm Michael Adams, and I'll see you next time.